Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how to model louvers in Revit. So here we have an object with a large curtain wall and you can see a lot of sunlight is coming in here. And let's say we want some sun protection on this side. So let's create some vertical louvers. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to add some elements that we'll use for the construction of the louvers. So go to Insert, Load Family. I'm just going to be using the metric fam families so I'm just going to go structural columns steel and I just need to find some rectangular piece like this one open it up I'm just gonna choose whichever we can modify it later so just go OK then go load family again US metric I'm going to find structural framing, steel, and find some round profile. Let's use this round bar, open. Okay, now we have all of our structural elements. Now we can start modeling the louvers. So I'm going to go to level 2. And here I've already created a section because here we'll have our louvers and it will be easier when we have a section. So I'm just going to go to Structure, Structural Column, OK, Save Project. So we loaded this one in, but we can go to Edit and we can change its dimensions. So I'm just going to change it to, let's say, 40 by 250. Apply, OK. And you can see now it's a bit larger. So we can place it over here, like so. Oh, we did not check the height, so we need to add height, and let's let it go up to roof level. So place it here, like so, and then in the same line over here. Click Escape, go to 3D view to see what we have done. OK, I'm going to select both of these, go Attach Top Base, and just extend them to the roof line. OK, now let's add some horizontal structural elements. So I'm going to go to Entry Level, Beam, find this round bar that we loaded in, and just draw it from over here to here. Now you can't see it in this floor plan, but when we go to 3D, there it is. I'm just going to select it, go to North Elevation, and let's just hit these thin lines so we can see everything better. OK, I'm just going to select it. Yeah, that looks nice. And just copy it up. You can use the array, I just prefer copying. And uncheck this constraint and check multiple. So I'm just going to go up by, let's go up by 30. Or I'm sorry, up by 300. Unconstrain, 300, we need to unconstrain again, 300, and do the same thing one more time. Then let's select the four of these, unconstrain, move them up by 120, unconstrain, do it one more time. Okay, that looks about right. Go to 3D. Yeah, we have all of our construction elements. Let's just delete this one. It's a bit below and we don't really need it. So now once we've done that, we can actually create the louvers. We have all the construction needed. So go here to Architecture, Component, and then Model in Place. I'm going to choose the generic models for the template, go OK, and call this Louver. Now let's set the work plane, pick a plane, OK. Let's pick this one. And remember that section that we have over here, let's open it up. There you go. And let's start drawing our extrusion. OK, pick a plane. It doesn't seem to want to pick a plane. 
let's try this again okay let's go to section and let's start drawing our louvers so I'm going to use the ellipse tool come over here come to the center line pull it out a bit maybe 200 and then for this size like so and then I'm just going to create a circle over here inside like this and now we have our one louver element let's just rotate it in place because sunlight is coming from over here we need to rotate it a little bit so go to rotate place the center of location here and then let's just rotate it for let's say 15 degrees okay and let's just copy it down unconstrain move it down by 300 again 300 one more time and now let's just copy everything again 1200 1200 let's just delete the last one and there you go now we hit OK but before that we can set the material I prefer using aluminum for this so just go OK check it and now let's go to the north face to see what we have done okay this is too short so I'm just going to extend it over here to this side and I'm not going to go all the way here I'm just going to stop a bit shy of that I think it looks a bit better do the same thing here like so and then finish model now go to 3d and you can see when we go here we have no more sunlight over here but when you look from the inside you can still see from the inside of the building so our louvers are working perfectly they're not obscuring vision but they are stopping sun from coming in okay that's pretty much all you need to know for modeling louvers in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any comments or any suggestions for future tutorials please leave a comment in the comment section below Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice day.